But now we're going to give you a sneak preview of the massive operation to grasp Perth's new billion dollar stadium. And Michael Thompson, it is a giant logis logistical challenge. Certainly is, Tim. Look, the Wacker wants to host an Ashes test there in 2017. So the operation to transplant hundreds of tonnes of turf has to go like clockwork. It's turf with a synthetic edge to make it safer. It's destined to become the most important grass in Western Australia. On the surface, it looks like any normal patch of grass. But this turf is special. It's destined to help make history. At the moment, it's growing out of sight near Serpentine, 80 kilometres from Perth. In April, it will cover the Perth Stadium, ready for sporting greats. Iconic project, um, and needs to be iconic grass for the, for the stadium. The Pitsikas brothers are responsible for cultivating what will become hallowed sporting turf. It's a blend, 90% natural, 10% synthetic. The synthetic gives it added, added strength and then the turf is actually the bigger part of it as well. So bigger strength and loading. The natural turf is a combination of wintergreen cooch grass mixed with rye and artificial grass. The same as the turf at Sydney's ANZ Stadium, the Gabba, MCG and NIB Stadium. The synthetic element is designed to help stabilise the turf, reducing movement and injuries from unexpected shifting. Stability is one key component of it when you look at any turf system for elite sports, so this is what it addresses, um, stability and, and no shift underfoot. The turf has to stand up to year-round use. Artificial lights will help to boost growth in shaded areas. This type of system's the way of the future because all the stadium operators want year-round performance, they want year-round usage. So you want to be able to play football, you want to be able to play cricket, you want to be able to hold a concert. So there's a, there's a lot tied up in that infrastructure, so the turf's got to be able to perform under that criteria. Six months into the project, the grass growth is around 35% complete. It'll be ready to be installed early next year and transferred from here in Serpentine to its new home at Perth Stadium. I think we deserve the world's best turf for Australia's best stadium and it looks well on track to me. Um, we've got to have confidence in our turf. Our athletes want to have confidence in our turf and it looks to me like it's going, uh, going very well. It'll take two weeks to lay the turf. It'll be ready to be played on four to six weeks later possibly for an Ashes Test showdown between Australia and England in December 2017. It wouldn't be normal if you didn't um, feel a bit of pride in, in what you're doing. There's 18,000 square metres of the turf growing at Serpentine. For the Pizzicus brothers, it's only small but special. It's less than 1.7% of our production, but it's probably the most important for the year for us. Paddy Sweeney, Nine News.